<laughs> Last song, I, I promise. A friend. Oh, oh. His name's Tony. Tony. Tony, don't tell him he's dinner tonight. Uh, oh, what? Hey everybody, I'm here at SeaWorld San Antonio for their Hollow Scream opening day. It is Friday the 13th. Uh, Carol can't be here because she's watching one of our dogs. He's uh, not feeling the best, so she's staying home watching him, just making sure he's all right. But I was able to meet up with Swizzy, Spooky Laters, and Michael, and walked around, got some footage with them, saw the opening kind of releasing of the monster. Got to do one house with them. But yeah, we're gonna walk through some houses and just check out the event. Hollow Scream San Antonio is what got Carol and I into like Halloween theme parks and stuff like that. So we love Halloween. We love coming here. We're excited that it's like, I don't know, we're excited that it's open every weekend that we get to come here and experience it. I'm just walking around the park before it gets dark and the house is open, but I see some scare actors stretching out over there, getting ready to scare people. Not sure if it's coming through on the camera or not. Oh, okay. They don't have the trampoline bouncing people this year but this is still pretty good looking be interesting catapult falls is open it's been closed a couple of past weeks i've come by but it is open today and very not not a very long wait either Ooh, what is this all right so this is at showtime grill right across from the uh, orca stadium yeah Love that first bite. Wedding rings, funnel cake, wedding cupcake, turkey leg. Okay, that's kind of nice. It looks like there's going to be some kind of live performance here. I haven't seen it listed on the brochure for any show times, so we'll just see what it is. One thing to note is, although Atlantis is still running during the daytime for Sea World, does close at 6 p.m. for our Hollow Scream days, which is just the weekends basically. Everyone else is filming the monsters. I'm filming the duckies. Oh, look at the duckies. <laughs> Gotta use a different tape. Nice 
in here. Hey, look. <laughs> First haunt of the night, disassembly. Hello, scream out of the way. Good, this assembly line was great. Got a couple of jump scares. I got, got good. I think I saw one of our uh, one of our friends in there. Atlantis, the cursed chasm. There's like no one in line. Oh, okay, there's some people in line. I lied. So the thing about Hollow Scream and also at Fright Fest is they do send you in, in groups of like, I think eight or 10. So you do have to wait a little bit, but the line's not that bad. So I'm just gonna go ahead and just wait in this line, especially since I think one of our scare actor friends is in here. I'll keep a lookout. <laughs> oh, that's pretty awesome. Have you seen him in my hair? Uh, no, I haven't seen him. I haven't seen him. I haven't seen him. I see some open spots on this dance floor, and I see some people sitting down. Atlantis, the cursed chasm. It was a good house. I actually, I did enjoy it. We enjoyed it last year. Only thing that hasn't changed much from last year, if anything. Uh, they were also missing the bubbles, which we loved. Carol and I loved last year. But now I'm making my way to Zombie Horde, where there is like no line. I don't have. I use my one fast pass for disassembly, but so far looks like I don't need it. Luckily. Jump into the wrong 
junkyard. Watch out now. Howdy. Stop with my buddy, man. I know you. We got there. Oh. <laughs> Still back there. Error. Terminal bus overload. Error. Error. Oh. Four, five, eight. I'm coming for you! Zombie Horde. Even though it's it's slightly different than last year, it's still a great house. Here's what I like, because we, we did Halloween Horror Nights last week. Here's what I like about this is one, we get even though it's gonna make the waits longer, we get sent in as like eight a group of eight or ten. And two, they're not set out to a timed like jump scare. So you you're still in the line, you still might miss some things, but there's like a greater chance that you're gonna get jump scared. I love, I love that I'd live so close to SeaWorld to go to Hollow Scream and close enough to go to Fright Fest as well. by Bunny Bradley's earlier. The wait was long. Let's see if it's gone down any. Hello. Hello. me more. You look nice. It's a very nice dress. That's a nice. It's a great, very great. The best I've ever seen. Yes, keep going. I'm not having a conversation. <laughs> I might go ahead and wait just because. Let's see. Where's the main entrance? I think this is the main entrance. Because um, the only thing I haven't done is. Oh, I haven't done Milton Creek Manor. I'm already here. I'm gonna do it. The only house. So I still need Milton Creek and um, Swamp. But Swamp is our least favorite. See if that change. I should have enough time though to go do Milton Creek and then run and do uh, Swamp. Hey, you'll make a great flavor. I love picking the uh, beard hairs out of my teeth. <laughs> yeah, doesn't sound like a good flavor. <laughs> I don't think it'll be a good flavor. <laughs> Oh. 
<laughs> Bye. Did Bunny Bradley's? It was a longer wait than I thought. It was about 30 minutes. Way longer than I thought. <clears throat> so the show starts at 9:30. If I want to try and get all the houses done, not sure if it's possible, but I forgot Milton Creek Manor, so I'm gonna hit that up. And hopefully, it's, if it's a short wait, which it kind of looks like it, I'm gonna run to the swamp, see if I get that done at least in time to go catch the show. of the night, the swamp. Hopefully it's just like a walk-in. It looks like it is. All right, I'm good. All right, I'm actually going into this alone. Uh -oh. The swamp is our least favorite. I went in there by myself because there's like no weight. I got the most jump scares of the night off of that one. Now, I'm actually, I'm gonna see if this assembly line has a weight and if not, um, I'm gonna go in. If I, if there is a weight, I might go grab a drink and then head to the show. Oh, there is like no weight. All right, I'm doing this again. Well, hello. How's it going? It's going good, <laughs> sir. Hello, Fleshling. How are you? I'm doing good. They stuck you back here this year? You know, this is where I decided to come to because there's not a lot of people right now, so I get to interact with my favorites like yourself, Meatbag. How are you, Meatbag? I'm doing good. I'm doing good. Let me ask you a favor. Can I sing you a song? Sure. All right. It's my favorite song. I've been working on it for like 300 years. Are you ready? Sure. Yeah, go for it. Disassembly, disassembly, chop you up, chop you up. Put you in a blender, put you in a blender. Now you're dead, now you're dead. Okay, this is the part where you cheer. <laughs> yeah, yeah, good job. All right, you're a good flashback. I appreciate <laughs> you. All right, thank you. 
All right, you be good and go get chopped up real nice. When you come to the underworld, I have a seat just for you. All right, well, cool, perfect, perfect. <laughs> Goodbye, flashback. Bye. I got the Blue Inferno. I know it's a uh, pink coconut rum, a uh, blue carousel, and a mojito mix. Uh, I've already tried it, it's pretty good. Oh, the parasite. Sure. <laughs> parasite, tell me to do evil things! <laughs> 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 Hello. Hey. hey. I want your hat still. You still want my hat? I still want your hat. You want my hat? Here you go. It's my hat now. Oh, where's my hat going? <laughs> Not with you. That's oh, no. My hat. Oh, yeah. So much in there, my hat. All right, thank you. <laughs> thank you. On my way to the show. But look at my mojito. I'm quickly making my way to the monster stomp. I've already missed a little bit of it, but hopefully I can catch the majority of it. see Duck Donuts was open during Hollow Scream so if you want some donuts you could still get them here the Day of the Dead you can send photos to hang on let's zoom in there right there you can send photos and they will appear on the screen which is pretty awesome all right the opening night of Hollow Scream in the books it was still a fun one um, even though they, they really only had one new scare zone, still a great event to attend. But I'm going to wait for a little bit, gather my thoughts, and kind of do a outro at home. Just because it's a little bit later in the night, and I still need to drive home and check on our dogs. So, see you in a little bit. Hey everybody, so it's actually been a couple of days since Hollow Scream that I'm recording this. And this is actually my third try because I keep on messing it up. But opening night for Hollow Scream was great. Um, I actually got to meet up with Tyler, Michael, Swizzy, and Spookulators. 
which if for whatever reason you don't follow them, but follow me, uh, I'm gonna put links down for their channels uh, in my description. Actually, most of them have already put out their hollow screen videos if you wanna check those out as well. But overall, a great opening night for hollow screen. All the scare actors did a fantastic job and I can't wait to see more as the uh, season goes on. So I do wanna mention a one house actually, uh, just give you some tips for it because Bunny Bradley that line on the outside is very, very deceiving, and here's why. So once you go through the line of Bunny Bradleys, once you get to the Bunny Bradley sign, you go upstairs to another hallway, and that hallway sometimes might have another line in it. So once you get to the end of that line, um, you'll go downstairs to another hallway with another line in it, and then once you get to the end of that is when you finally enter the house. So. Just know if there's a small line on the outside, that does not mean that is going to be a walk on. And I would highly suggest if you have like a single use fear pass to use it on Bunny Bradley's because it is still a good house. I enjoy it. But once again, just wanted to give a big thank you to all the scare actors for having a great opening night of Hollow Scream. Um, these events really hinge on y'all. So thank you so much. And remember, as I always say, hydrate because even though the sun does go down and the fog comes out, it is still going to get very hot. Uh, it is still going to be humid. So you need water <laughs> just so you don't pass out while standing in a line. No one wants that. But if you made it this far, thank you so much. I'll see y'all later. Bye. <laughs>